Well, everyone, thanks for stopping by today. Just doing a little tour of the early November garden. This is probably going to be the last one of the year. And then we'll start talking about seeds, maybe come January. But uh, over here on the side of the house, I did have some Praxis cherries. Um, they did okay. I had two plants here. I got a couple off, but this has got to be about the, oh boy, eighth year I planted these. And they just don't seem to be as tasteful as what they used to be. So I'm probably not going to plant these any longer. I might save some seeds. I did not pull any off yet for seeds. But I do have a couple cherries down there I could use seeds on. Over here, poblanos. I have had some stellar poblanos this year. Not many. Probably five or six. But these are delicious. I put these on the grill with some burgers oh i love them on burgers grill them up peel the skins off fantastic peppers not too spicy lots of flavor and over here we have a couple jalapenos i've gotten some really good jalapenos too this year a little spicy just the right amount of heat they've turned out really good too just not many and coming around to the back I started cleaning up the garden. I pulled out the rest of the stakes and started to pull up the black mulch. Or the, uh, the black uh, plastic mulch. Just kind of curious. This has been down for two years now. Some of it was the good uh, that good thicker I don't know what this is it's kind of a cloth material that that worked out really well the other was this plastic very cheap they both in the end worked uh, the black plastic rips very easy and I started pulling up some of that fabric and to be honest it's pretty much deteriorating as well. And it had a 10 year warranty, they said. I remember reading that when I bought it off Amazon. So, I mean, you can see this stuff just pulls right away. I mean, it's deteriorated already. It's only been in the ground two years. So we're doing some prep work. I don't know what I'm gonna do next year. I may do a year of just pots. We'll see see what happens I think in the spring what I might do is just till this up and I might get some manure yeah I might just bring in a load of manure back the truck up till it in and just let it sit for a year but until I figure out what to do with these branches it just does not get enough light back here I mean, right now we're looking to the south, and it just doesn't get enough light with the house here and those branches. I'm thinking maybe early spring I can get rid of that one branch and get some of that that leaves, the leaf coverage. It seems to be my problem. So that's where we're at with the garden right now. My apple trees. I actually did have two apples this year on this tree. First year of produce. It needs some serious prunage. So I'm going to prune up all these little lower branches. None of those should be in place. Take out this lower couple here. Really bring that canopy up. Yeah, it really needs pruned. So I'm going to do that probably January-ish. You really want to wait till these trees are in hibernation before you prune them. So we'll do that. And the other tree did fantastic actually. There was one branch down here at the bottom that had it had to have eight apples on it. This area right here. Which was awesome. There were even a couple over in here going up the tree. So it did fantastic this year. Once again, I'm going to come down here and prune up 
those little stragglers and that'll force the foliage up and new growth but you can see we did have some damage this year from bugs so I've got to do some research on what we can spray this thing with to keep the bugs at bay early in the season and that's kind of it that's kind of where we're at my pots in the front did pretty good this year too I already pulled the peppers out of them again it was just uh, that Tunisian pepper was really really good and a couple jalapenos so all in all it is what it is <laughs> it's been a couple years since I had a really good really good garden I'd have to go back and look it's probably been since 2015 or so on my videos since I had a really good crop but I think it's due to all the lack of the lack of sunlight back here just because these oak trees are down here so we'll try to get that fixed in the next year see what we're going to do next year I always try to change it up alright hope everybody's doing well if you're watching thanks for watching if this is your first time uh, watching my channel be sure to subscribe we're going to be talking about seeds here in about two months so who knows what we'll plant next year all right everyone have a great holiday thanks for watching